All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, for the first time in a while, I actually got a good night's rest last night. I mean, technically, I only slept like six, maybe six and a half hours, but I wound up lying in bed for like three, four. I, was, I, didn't, I, was, I didn't even feel or realize it, so that probably means I actually did sleep between, uh, you know, in between the last three, four hours. So, you know, I feel really good, really refreshed. <clears throat> I didn't uh, get my chewables, so I guess I'll be um, <clears throat> getting my usual morning phlegm. Um, but from, aside from that, losing weight, things are getting better. You know, things are reopening, getting warmer. Fortunately, uh, Trump's not going to win our re-election if the right things are going. But eh, maybe some changes will happen. I mean, he, there was some stuff here that I do want to take a look at before we go on. Uh, Bolton describes how this is the Bolton book describes how and this is a quote how Trump derailed a White House meeting about Iran strategy by bringing up a right wing conspiracy that blocks black South Africans were killing white South African farmers. And Trump blurted out that he wanted to grant the white South Africans asylum and citizenship, which he actually should be doing. Uh, so Trump's definitely aware of the problems, but I mean, he's obviously got completely screwed over by, um, you know, well, pretty much everyone else. His ego, his pride, Jared Kushner. Uh, they're going after George Washington. Um, so this is actually... Uh, they have begun to build another autonomous uh, zone nearby. Um, this is important. Yeah, so I mean, this is honestly just going to take place in liberal areas. So <clears throat> There are no police in the area. So this is actually important, so we're going to retweet that, right? I retweeted the right one, right? Yes, I did. So, well, hey, John, now the left loves John Bolton. Remember how much John, hey, I went after the day every day. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So that's basically how it works, right? You know, the, the power of the mom is very powerful, and conservatives should learn to fucking use that. Now, we don't want to act like, you know, uh, what is it, like those infected from Last of Us Part Two, right? Because I've been watching that all yesterday, and ugh. God, uh, just save your sixty dollars and just watch it. It's like it started off good and then it just progressively gets worse because. Uh, but to their naughty dog's credit, at least they didn't put in like the Christian anti-homophobe bullshit. Right? I think they might have cut that out, or maybe it was never there to begin with, and they just leaked that out just to get free press or something. <clears throat> so. Uh, Democrats make fake ads. They should be called out, you know, when they had the chant, I've done far and okay. Um, they are doing false signs, they've done over years, blah blah blah. Uh, this guy is in big trouble, yeah. So, just more of the same retarded bullshit. Um, uh, I mean, maybe we'll see, right? I mean, it's also Oklahoma, I mean, it's already inherently fucking right wing, so I mean, Antifa's not gonna show up there. Uh, but if they did, you know, um, well, you know, it's, uh, well, they'll probably get shot at some point, right? You know, people will start taking pot shots at them, you know, and I, I'm not going to have a problem with that. I mean, they're pulling down fucking George Washington. Like, the left is going so fucking hard, but the problem is Trump is still a fucking retarded leader. <clears throat> so I don't know what will happen. All right, uh, so he's down back to 14, not much change. I don't know, this thing's not reloading. All right, there we go. All right, so I didn't do any research at all. And of course, Firefox is just being the worthless piece of trash browser that it always is. All right, so searches for this week is still around 11, so obviously not much. Um, I did look at this earlier, so we're just going to go with this while it reloads. Uh, 67 billion, 24-hour uh, volume. Dominance is at 64.9%. Bitcoin's still 93.75, so it's like usual. Litecoin 43.37, so it's 30 bucks above 13.37, good old leaked crude number. Dogcoin 307.6 million, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, let's see. So markets are up a little bit, you know. Uh, China speed U.S. farm purchases after secretive Hawaii thing. Yeah, well, this is going to be more ir irritating to people, I bet. Um, <clears throat> we really, sh I really don't understand why we're allowing foreign countries to like buy up our farmland and shit, especially since we had a temporary shortage of food at the supermarket in some places. 
GMC's at 7 and 8, so no changes there. 404 doing fine. 300 to do 315 or 341. So it looks like it's going to be up in the 300s for a little while. Uh, two by two, uh, it does seem like it was trying to rally, but it does look like 70s is now the new price range for two by two, which makes sense because the supply is starting to finally grow. Uh, Rix is at 191.5, so it's already going down here too. I mean, it should be about twice what um, two by two is, right? So, yeah, eh, not too bad. Uh, nothing new here. Let's see. D5 gets slammed, you kind of already, blah, blah. Mm. Ah, Chinese officials say Bitcoin doesn't make the top 10 what? Bitcoin fails to make China's crypto top 10 list. Well, that's kind of unusual. Uh, Bitcoin holder, uh, I mean, we already have a lot of articles to read. Uh, I guess we'll put it there though, all right? Uh, Bitcoin's still in your rally. Yeah, I mean, it's going to continue. It's going to basically, the price will probably be shit until people are more sure about who's going to win the election. So it's really the uncertainty. <clears throat> Man, this, this annoying little phlegm is just so annoying. Bitcoin price, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Do I have to uh, do weights today? No, I lifted weights yesterday. So today is my physical day off. I'll write that down. Uh, I also forgot to write how much uh, crypto, so we're going to write this here. All right, good, we're done. And I already watched that video. All right, so there's that. Uh, Daily Doldol Cracker says, Bitcoin will exceed 100K the cycle, reveals huge influx of new crypto traders. Uh, okay, so the guy, I assume he owns, actually, what's the thumbnail looking like here? Oh, I like this is a way superior thumbnail. Uh, so I think he, uh, Jesse Powell probably owns Kraken. Jesse Powell Kraken. Uh, Ryan Cheese It. Founder and CEO of Kraken, number 28. Yeah, so the owner of Kraken thinks it's going to go up to 100K this cycle. Man, that's a lot less than what I thought, which is 500K. I don't know. I'm just hoping it's going to skyrocket a lot more, but we'll we'll see. I mean, we'll see. I mean, once Bitcoin skyrockets, you know, it skyrockets. I mean, that kind of sucks, though. If it only goes up to 100k, I'll still be able to buy something. Oh man, that means I have to. That means I'm probably going to have like five to seven fifty k to buy an apartment building instead of like a couple million dollars. Ugh. I mean, obviously that's still a lot of money, but uh, I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Ripple is one of the 50 most disruptive startups on earth, according to CNBC. Trump Dirk did, okay, that's from yesterday, all right. <clears throat> so Trump is down 13, oh, actually, wait a minute, this is actually different. Trump is actually now closing within 13%, so maybe there is some hope. I mean, like, Trump's heart is in the right place, right? Because he knows about the South African, I mean, he knows about the whites getting slaughtered by the blacks in South Africa, so. Uh, but he really... Like I just I just cannot stand reading Trump Trump's Twitter. And it's only because um fucking he, he just says shit and does nothing. It's so aggravating. Alright, so China says Bitcoin is not in the top ten. Uh car use is based on technology, applicability, features before safety, creativity, and decentralization. At the top of the tail, EOS lease with okay, followed by Tron, then e Ethereum. Uh, I don't think these things are correct at all, man. These, yeah, this is bullshit. They could scales up for previous ranking, 17th place. All right. Well, I guess, well, I mean, they weighed it based on other stuff, too. So I would probably agree that Tron, Ethereum, and EOS definitely has plenty of basic tech and uh, uh, um, applications, and it probably does perform a lot faster. And it is safe because it's more centralized. Oh yeah, I guess creativity. Decentralization is actually one of, one, like what, six, seven metrics? So okay, I guess that's why they do it that way. But for, for us, you know, um, especially now that, you know, we're going to get deplatformed more and more. War is a cute way. Huh. Um, decentralization will be a very important thing. Uh, once once right-wingers right -wing, right fucking figure it, this shit out. China speed U.S. foreign purchases after secretive Hawaii talks. All right, so that's a really nice 
thing. Um, China plans to accelerate purchases of American farm goods to comply with phase one. Oh, okay. I thought they were buying like farms and land and shit, but they're actually buying our product. Okay. So China plans to buy more shit from America, so that's good. The world's top soybean port tends to increase buying everything from China coin when it fell behind during coronavirus. I mean, China has a very huge appetite because obviously there's like, what, 1.4 billion of us in China, something like that. So that's a lot of food. U.S. equities rose as their reports boosted risk appetite. They come at a fraught time for blah, blah, blah. Trump's personal relation with Z is also scrutiny. Former Bolton, blah, blah, blah. This actually helps Trump, believe it or not, because this also makes Trump look less like a racist asshole. Because if you... Because here's the thing, if you believe Trump's a racist asshole, why would you ask, like, against Chinese people? What, uh, uh, you know, why would you ask Chinese people to help you with your re-election? Seems, seems pretty contradictory, right? Even, even your typical shitlib should be able to at least feel enough of that cognitive dissonance to just go, like, what's going on here? Just a little bit, though. Not, I, I don't really trust much. No buying from the country industry. Uh, ministry is trying to facts seeking God, Chinese, blah, blah, blah. So I don't have any fur. Okay, so he's not saying shit. Uh, committed to honor all of the trade deal. So this is basically just trade deal stuff. Uh, first one, me, data from me. China has to ask state buyers to halt some purchases. Yeah, because what China does instead is they just simply outright buy shit in America, like you know farms and factories and stuff, and they just ship everything to China. So that's basically what happens. That's the thing I'm opposed to. Like we should not allow foreign countries to buy up our land and then ship that shit out. Right? Remember when coronavirus was happening? It's like. Hey, why do we have to export masks? All right. It's like, yeah, because basically they owned, foreigners owned American production. So that's why that American production was shipping out to like other countries and shit. It's very aggravating. Trump admit, but I mean, again, America is a very FDI friendly country. So, you know, what are you going to do? Trump Bettman move could add security risk to retirement accounts, right? Oh, and, you know, the reason why we do that is because obviously we still want everyone's money, right? So... Yeah, I mean, just think about foreigners or tourists coming into, like, New York City or your local town. Well, obviously, they have money, and they're going to need to spend it in your local area, right? So that's basically what the general principle of FDI is, except on a global and nationalistic scale. But it's hard to see that. Now, thanks to a rule change from Trump, those retirement vehicles could soon get more complicated and new risks and rewards. Uh, managers of 401k plans now have the ability to invest in private equity. In other words, your 401k could soon take stakes in private companies. So I actually like this, even though it's more risk, because now you can actually do, um, like, you know, like, uh, IPOs and shit and pre-IPOs. That's basically what this is. The goal of Coyote Labor Secretary Eugene Scalia is allowing investors to get access to alternative investing, ensure that ordinary people investing for retirement have the opportunities they need for a secure retirement. Well, it's definitely not going to be secure, though. Labor Department laid out things in a letter that says 401k money into private equity funds would not violate the fiduciaries that you use out I saw them next, I see a big downside. Uh, so, 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 by the part of it, there are investors that are more complex, more opaque, less liquid, more difficult to value, and often higher cost of bull. You could do much, much more. The deal all the other is that the manager could now decide to invest in private equity that previously were not. So, these funds really have been reserved for the wealthiest traders and institutional investors. Yeah. Um, you have to be an accredited investor because I'm an accredited investor. I guess I think I still should be called. I should. I mean, even even though I like, technically have less than I, my assets are still pretty good. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like when I write that check mark, I'm just gonna say accredited investor. I like to tell people to go fuck themselves. They typically cut higher risk as private company dark cards close nearly the same idea, but the SEC the new rule could be tempting for average who now have a robot with a piece of company like Airbnb that's still private. Yeah. One thing that remains up in the air is how quickly the manager of the big firm will embrace their new options. Companies like Vanguard and Fidelity have not yet offered comment. Yeah, I mean, Vanguard and Fidelity are designed to be very safe, right? They basically match the S&P 500. That's like, they are, that's why they're called benchmark index funds, right? Or index funds, index funds for short. They are the baseline. So they really aren't going to do too much more crazy, like, um, High risk shit, maybe a little more risk. You want to like make a little more money, but not much. But everyone else, yeah. But they're not saying question. But the problem is, most people are just fucking retarded when it comes to investing. Like, I'm actually gonna create a follow up video to my um, first investment video and create a playlist. Um, 
uh, what you might call it, and then because uh, yeah, now that I've been playing a little bit more chess, I mean, I've been, I've been just, I've been diverting my attention between chess, Elite Dangerous, and um, Hades Star. Even though I'm scaling back Hades Star and stuff and all that, because I just love making money, right? I love the game of making money. It's just fun for me, and you know, now I do it in real life, right? I mean, I, of course, I got fucked in the ass with the Bitcoin bust, of course, that I way we already knew, and I knew it was coming, and and then just. They just got sandwiched by coronavirus and all the angry black people rioting and burning shit down. So, you know, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, well, I'm going to create another play. Oh, then because I'm learning more chess, I have to actually watch chess fundamental videos and all this other stuff. Because I didn't have access to that when I was a kid. So if I had access to this learning show, it would just been so much. I probably would be in 2000 or um, I don't know. What's the lower grandmaster rank at 2400, right? But, you know, I can easily do catch-up, so. Uh, they're outstanding. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to create a second video. So, I think maybe what I'll probably do is, like, typical mistakes in investing proof of stake or something like that. One thing that remains up in the air is how quickly the managers of the big retirement plans will embrace their new options. Companies like Vanguard and Fidel have not yet offered another outstanding question is whether blah, blah, blah. Uh, Alexis Leonidas, an opinion columnist for Bloomberg, recently asked if the move is worth the risk. Many plants probably don't have the certification of background in alternatives to fully understand the cognitive structure of the main private equity fund. She wrote, blah, blah, blah. Roger said that the dispersion of return. Okay, I don't want to read that. I don't know. Okay, I'm not reading the rest of this. All right, fine. We got the point. Basically, uh, 401ks can now increase their risk. To get warm return that's actually fine and it's done by a fund manager so at least they're probably going to still be smarter than your average investor right they're not as smart as me of course but you know people like me are very like what one in one in a thousand minimum but more like one in ten thousand one in one hundred thousand so the electric car company boom has screeched to a halt for now uh the only reason why i want to read this is because of you know elon musk Three decades of advances took lithium iron batteries from powering handheld, okay, to Tesla shit. Uh, less so each year. Uh, yeah, this is diminishing returns. Okay. Um, demand for return of will decline for the first time this year. Sales are the biggest year. Slump with, oh yeah, of course, coronavirus. So, uh, major producers, including South Community, a supplier to Tesla, a general market, cut annual sale forecast. Yeah, Sil yeah, from Silicon Valley to China's contemporary Amperex Tech, the world's top real available over lithium, you know, it took uh, Outlook is undimmed. Batteries say automakers and utility cars are still attracted to more powerful, cheaper, ubiquitous, not just in passing area, but also in an additional form of transfer material, electronic, like large scale energy storage. That's fantastic. Despite short term pressures, Chairman they said there's a quick cut in the long run, and let's say his car is going to lead its injury cattle sales role uh, 90%. Holy shit, almost double in 2019. Lithium iron battery demand has more than doubled since 2015 and remains on track for about nine full expansion from the sector for a very plant and burn in the past 10 years, pushing, okay. Pedro approved that with at least something including your fan using virus recovery funds help accelerate transition from internal combustion to battery powered alternatives. Yeah, I mean, more store, especially now that we can go to space reliably now, thanks to Elon Musk and SpaceX. Yeah, this is fantastic. You know, we're going to find out all kinds of crazy shit uh volkswagen is also yeah because i think i mean i think my first car will still have to be kind of a cheap budget car because you know i mean i don't know it depends on how much money i'm gonna have because it's obviously the priority will be buying my house in tampa florida i think i'm still gonna move to tampa as much as i want to go to a more conservative area i can't be too far away from the cities all right uh actually i do want to live in a city so yeah i mean it's gonna kind of suck well i mean yeah i think it's somewhat suck for dating though but i think tampa's still around 44 percent Republican for Trump. So, I mean, that was in 2016. I mean, we'll find, I'll find out in 2020, like with the election results. And then I'll take a look at the voting results. Cause that's actually how I figure out who's voting for, uh, who, what is conservative and what is not. Like, just look at the voting results for the, by district. Trains left a station right over the battery makers also quickly progress a key throughout battery life, power and cost. Recently, that will be brought back and operate 2 million kilometers or 1.2 million miles or about 16 years. The capability puts it far ahead of any other battery on the market today, which are typically only 150. Holy shit. Hell yeah, man. China power, you know. I mean, since everyone's bitching about China. Well, okay. Like, well, I mean, have, have you created a battery uh, <laughs> that can run 1.2 million miles, which is far ahead of the current 150k miles? 
right? So yeah, but this is pretty nice. This is this is good for everybody, right? So, but you know, feeling a little better. I mean, I see Trump finally doing something, right? He's up thirteen percent for some reason, so fine. Uh, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, Tesla is planning to provide for another battery in the coming weeks uh, as, as battery day. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. One critical update investors expect the average cost of batteries using Tesla is various models. The car makers never typically set the standard for others to catch up to. The car battery still accounts for about 30% of the total cost of the electric car. Very tech and rapid growth of manufacturing has already sent the price of the lithium battery totally down from more than $1,000 per kilowatt hour. 256 at the end of 2019 holy shit so so me buying a tesla would actually be um would actually be slightly more expensive than say a typical gas 20 25k car i would spend 35 grand on, on, a, on a tesla instead of waiting to buy the 50k the industry average battery price of 100k should be achieved in 2024 um uh, it's Quite a while. Additional savings are turning the lot of costs further. Uh, technology is being uh, applied to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't want to read the rest of the article, but it is pretty interesting. Okay, all right, but this is actually pretty nice. Uh, oh, and that's the end of the article. Okay, all right. Well, uh, I want to get back to playing my games and doing other shit. And actually, I got to work on my games. So I took because. I made a little bit of change yesterday, but it was a nice big change. I was actually able to figure, find out how to change the interface bar on the top to make it bigger so the numbers don't overlap. So that was really nice. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you uh, smash that uh, subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. All right, done for the week. Uh, thank God. So I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, same old, same old. So, uh, well, Trump is going to have his rally tomorrow. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what effect of any it has on his poll numbers. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's just how it goes. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if there's actually nothing happening next week, I think I'll actually create the playlist and add additional videos about uh, investor uh, investing in general. So I'll just like figure out all like the other important stuff and then put it in a playlist, right? So yeah. Anyway, see you all on Monday, uh, regardless. So yeah. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Um, yeah, here we go. Nice thumbnail.